I can't guarantee that this thing will definitely get you a job in graphic design, but what I can guarantee with absolute certainty is it will boost your chances and make you stand out. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky. I was just going through some of my old design work and I had a little trip down memory lane. I was thinking back to 17 year old Dan at school doing AS levels and uh, yeah, got that ungraded in computing, which was pretty terrible. Teacher got fired. It's kind of funny, but not really, I guess. But uh, then I went to college, did two years at college, got a triple distinction that I'm very proud of. I worked really, really hard and consequently got my first job. And it was at a company called Tool Station. They, as you might imagine, they sell tools and all sorts of things. And I was up against one other person. And I had my interview. The interview went well, I guess, uh, as well as you can expect from someone who's literally just left college, very, very green to everything. Hadn't ever had an interview before, apart from when I had a job working on a checkout at a supermarket. That was pretty much it. And as you can imagine, jumping into a design interview, this was quite a lot different. So I had the interview, it went fine. I went home and that night, this is the thing that made me stand out and consequently helped me get my first job. So as I said, the company was called Toolstation. They sold tools, we've established that. They also had a catalog that they put out every month or every quarter, something like that. And they had this beautifully designed front cover. Now, I was relatively inexperienced, but anyway, that night I went home and I had a crack at redesigning the front cover of one of their magazines. I remade everything. In fact, I've got it here and I'm gonna show you now. So this was uh, number one. As you can see, it's uh, arguably a wee bit terrible, but I redesigned all the branding, made the logo, everything. And then I added a drill, probably from Google, I think, and then just added some text and a few bits and bobs. The reason that this is significant is because I sent this over to them that night, probably literally a few hours after the interview. I quickly knocked this up, sent it over, and I actually found out several months later from one of the senior designers, this was one of the big things that helped swing the job for me. Not because I demonstrated that I was a master designer. I mean, come on, look at it. But because I demonstrated that I was willing to put in the extra work and that I was dedicated and that I kind of, I guess you could say I went over and above beyond what they might have expected. By demonstrating my commitment to a company who hadn't even offered me the job yet, by doing this, it showed that I really wanted the job, that I was keen, and that I was prepared to put in the work. So if you are applying for a job in graphic design, my advice would be to think about ways where you could go above and beyond what they would expect from you. Anything to show that you're genuinely keen and interested in working for the company. So whether it's mocking up your own designs based on their brand, anything that's gonna make you stand out against the competition. Now, uh, I don't know why, but I did actually do two. I did another one as well. Uh, I think this one is arguably worse Worse, uh, I added a printer. They don't even sell printers, but uh, so I sent that one over as well. But I think the fact that I sent this over, it doesn't matter that it's terrible. It's the fact that I even did it that made me stand out. So yeah, hopefully this helps. That was just something that was on my mind today. And uh, yeah, so if you are thinking of applying for a job, just think about ways that you can stand out. And if you would like me to do a bigger video where I talk about what it's like as an interviewee and an interviewer, because I've done both, then let me know down in the comments. But as always, take care. I'll see you next time.